So just recently, we launched a pretty big update to AI Assistant, our AI plugin for IntelliJ IDEA. There's a whole bunch of things in there for you as Kotlin developers to bring your productivity to the next level. So it's a great time to get a bit of an overview. Let's take a look and start with local AI completion. IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate ships with local AI models out of the box. They are free, they are fully local and offline, and they are great at code completion. They're essentially an extension of IntelliJ's auto-completion that add even more power. They're also specifically tuned for working with Kotlin. And like I said, you don't have to do anything to get access either. They're built in with an IntelliJ ID Ultimate. And then there is cloud completion, which uses AI models in the cloud and can do even more. To get started, make sure you have the AI Assistant plugin ready to go. You'll have to enable it by clicking the AI Assistant panel on the right and then choose Install Plugin. If you ever need to dive deep into AI Assistant settings, you can go to Settings, Tools, and AI Assistant. And to tune the completions you see, head to Editor, General, Inline Completion, where you can change things to your heart's content. Once the plugin is enabled and you've logged in with your JetBrains account, you'll find a bunch of features in the AI Assistant panel. There's the chat, which you can use to ask questions. You can choose which AI model you want to use. You can even plug in your own local models if you want to, or set up custom prompts. One of the most impactful features of AI Assistant is cloud completion, which is powered by Melum, our in-house LLM. Melum is specifically trained for code completion, and it's really good with Kotlin. Cloud completion is capable of suggesting either individual lines of Kotlin code, or it can suggest entire blobs of code at once. You can accept them either all at once or in smaller increments, whatever fits your workflow. You can also prompt AI Assistant straight from within your code or use one of the built-in AI actions to generate code or start a dialogue about your implementation. Now let's take a closer look at the tool window and its mode selector. In chat mode, AI Assistant can either answer questions about the current file or general programming or Kotlin questions. If code base is toggled on, it can also answer questions for which the answers might lie across different files in your project. Then there's our new edit mode, which is currently in beta. In this mode, you can ask AI Assistant to propose changes across multiple files. An important difference between edit mode and an AI agent like JetBrains Juni is that with edit mode, the Assistant simply proposes the changes across multiple files. You can then review the change in IntelliJ's diff window and apply them as you see fit similar to a super-powered code refactoring tool. Let's talk about context as well, because the more context our AI models have, the more accurate they can provide answers. In edit mode, AI Assistant does its best to determine which files should be attached automatically. In chat mode, however, you can fine-tune the context as well. I've already shown you how to manually attach files and commits, but you can even attach window panel symbols or database references. But in my experience, the best way to truly understand what impact AI Assistant can have on your workflows is to actually get your hands dirty and use it yourself. For information on how to get started and pricing, check out the description below. Enjoy and uh, take care.